Fellow aliens and the worshippers of the Magna Gi, welcome to the Elder Kings 2 with your good friend, Elrang himself. Thank you all for uh, bearing with me over the past couple of days. I've been wanting to come back to Crusader Kings 3 as soon as possible. I just didn't really have time yesterday. Been very busy this weekend and the Rumworld series is coming to an end too, so it's been a bit of a mess. But this has... I don't want to speak too soon, I don't want to say too early, but this, this, this has very much got me back into Crusader Kings, I think. Uh, it, all it took was a bit of an Elder Scrolls push. Like I said, I played Crusader Kings 3 for a couple of hundred hours on release, but it never really gripped me. But I think this, I, I was thinking of so many different campaigns that I want to do in this and so many different ways to play. So I think it might have its claws in me, but we'll wait and see how it goes. I uh, also wanted to point out, though, that probably for future series, too, though it's been a fantastic learning tool this time around, I'm probably going to do things a little more heavily edited in the future. Not, not heavily edited, um, but, you know, focusing on... The things that happen, the story elements, that type of thing. Given that I'm using this as a, uh, you know, a storytelling simulator, as I think it should be. So we won't do so much of the fumbling around and learning how courts work and stuff in the, in the future. But I'm glad we've done it the way we have because it has had me learn a few things like the, the titles and, and trait management and things like that. Now, one thing that I did see in the comment section yesterday, somebody said that in The Elder Kings, one of the big changes to the culture side of things is if we go to innovations and if we go back to the early years, you can see the natives of... Um, uh, you can see where people are native to. So we have natives of Grartwood, um, which means that our culture is uh, inherently a native, funnily enough, to uh, this area down here in Valenwood. I think specifically like this area, right? Or, or specifically, let's have a look here, Kingdom Map. Yeah, so the Kingdom of Grartwood. That's really, really good to know for the future because that does mean that if eventually, and probably we should, be moving down this way, we're already part of the quote-unquote kingdom of Grartwood now. So if we can move down there, that'll make it much, much easier to resurrect our culture eventually. In the short term, though, we got one or two problems. Became a necromancer. Um, it turns out that is a sin to our, or a crime specifically, to our liege. So we've got to watch our back a little bit more. A lot of people were saying, though, on that front of watching our back, that our son, uh, little Umaril, Umaril Alfboy, 16, the Vindictive Planet, is better than our current spy master. And it's a fair point. He absolutely is. So if we throw him into the council position here, not only does he like us more, it should be great. Will you start getting... Uh, can I adjust your focus here or anything like that? I wonder if you'll just start getting... Oh, we should get an Intrigue Lifestyle focus just as we gained um, experience when we were on our Lieges Council, right? Interesting. Okay. Um, a lot of people point out, too, that given our massive mana reserves now, we're, we're going to be able to magic up quite a lot of gold very quickly. I think we're going to make some big plays, like try and grab swaths of land a bit more uh, consistently when we've got that Master Conjuration, which in theory probably won't take too long today, right? I think we'll probably crack that out in no time at all. We're just about to finish getting control over the capital of Green Hill. Finally dealt those, uh, <laughs> finally dealt with those bloody peasants. Still going to take quite a few years. How are we looking right now? Eight years. Well, just take down to seven years left on converting the province over. There we go. Total control over the capital is a nice change of pace, isn't it? Let's get you increasing county control in Senalana, which is a new province we grabbed. I'm 90% sure that in uh, the first ever playthrough I did on this channel, when we originally played our rank all those years ago, I think that Senalana might have been the first province we started in, because the name really does ring a bell. Weird. Okay. Um, how long is it going to take to get county control there? Five years. And to be fair, time flies pretty bloody fast in this, right? So let's take a look at our rituals here for a second. I want to be able to... Yeah, so we are fortifying stewardship. We could turn that off. It's not actually impacting our monthly income. Now, we're, we're out of debt, which is the main thing, right? But I think if we, um... Oh! Blunder results in claim? You get an unpressed claim on the ward of Grimwatch. Oh, I was just about to dismiss that without... Without actually looking at it. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, So we can just rock up here now and say, yeah, this is mine. Oh, we don't even have to fabricate a claim to do it. My God. Um, it's going to be 503 versus 505. They have a much better troop composition. Look at that one. Um, that's something I do remember, that the complexity of the symbol, like the more uh, squares you've got next to the name, the more, or the stronger the armies are, right? Until eventually it's like, um, like that, funnily enough. Like a big symbol. <laughs> <laughs> Head empty today. Look, I've just come off of like a four-hour editing spree on the remote episode, so my brain is uh, totally not in the right place here. Sure, okay, we could probably do something with that. And if we create a new Man at Arms Regiment, we could go for Alien Sorcerers. I like that idea a lot. They're good in Jungle Hills. They're good in Jungle. Grimwatch, I think we're still too north for it to count as Jungle, right? We've got Valenwood Hills. Does that count as Jungle? I have absolutely no idea. I think that's a specific... Um, 
specific terrain type, right? We'd have to find one that counts as Valenwood Jungle, funnily enough. Forest, Tiger, Hills. Look, I mean, it's called Alien Sorceress. How can I not take that? Even though the stats might be not so comparable to the others. Though I say that, I mean, let's, let's take a look at, like, say, Light Footman, for example. 10, 16, was that? Pursuit and then Scream. That's right, yeah. Um, 30, 25, 20. Whoa, they seem good. Wow. In terms of, like, offense and defense, they're better than horsemen. They just don't have so much pursuit, which isn't really a big deal when you're fighting a single county war, is it? We've got to do it then. So one of the reasons I wanted to turn off the ritual is so that we could... I think someone said we could do, like, a major um, alteration or, or transmutation, specifically. Uh, let's crack open our spell book here. I want to say transmute. And how high can we go with that? Or we can cast grand just straight up. Ooh, I do love money. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a game changer, isn't it? Right, let's throw in some alien sorcerers then. Um, what are our light footmen doing for us? Do we want to, like... Oh, should we just go all in? I know it's it's certainly not the most optimal, most efficient way. But the idea of turning up... Oh, they're size 2, 3. I shouldn't really be dropping those, should I? Um, they are at maximum size. Oh, shit. We can only do size 1 for those. Man. Oh, the soundtrack's like booming. I feel like we've got to go to war now, haven't we? Let's crank those up too. That is going to cost us uh, a sizable amount of money. Thing. We could drop it down, of course, when the, uh, when the war is over. But I think this might make the difference. I think I'm ready. We have a mental break. Lately, it feels like I've been constantly distracted by the less vicious thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships in my everyday life, it's too easy to... God, that music is so loud. My God. Uh, it's too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Uh, maybe Hermaeus Mora can help me with my lustful ways. Um shit. Uh, I, I feel like again, we bite our lip, we stay focused, we can have a hunt, we can have a feast now, right? We can bloody afford it at long last. Um, we could go on a pilgrimage eventually. Let's divine the stars. Sure. We'll discover a cosmic insight in the near future. That seems like a good idea. And then as soon as these troops are reinforced, I think it takes a few months, we can charge in head first. I've had many nights looking up at the skies, tracking celestial bodies. Over time, I noticed a pattern, and after today's analysis, I am now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. Hard work will lead me to great fortune. We gained hiccups for 10 years. My god. Dedicated work and giving us plus two stewardship. Okay, that's interesting. The minus two intrigue isn't, um, super inspiring. There is the feast. How long till the hunt, then? Uh, eighth of first seed. What are we in now? 28th of first seed. Oh, I gotta wait another year. Shit, sorry, I thought it was this year. Um, okay, let's have a let's have a feast. Then that will drop us down below the stress level. You are no longer overwhelmed with stress. Everybody knows all you need for that is a feast. And we lost wounded simultaneously. Oh god, that was good. The guests are gathered in the hall. Lord and ladies from near and far reaches of the realm are waiting with anticipation for the feast to start. Oh, I've got to read the criers lines, right? By decree of the most majestic majesties from the depths of their magnificent magnanimity. Magnan magnanimity. Today begins a rule of foolishness and frivolities. Abolished our concerns of toil, tax, and responsibility for this silly season of winsome glee. Um, magnanim. Why can I not say that word anymore? Magnanimity. <laughs> Amazing. If I was just saying that casually mid sentence, I wouldn't have had any problems with it, but you've completely thrown me off. Right, how are we looking now? Superior troops, but our armies are bloody good, aren't they? How are our knights looking? Can I maybe use that to... Uh... Hmm, they're not terrible. 15, 14, 14, 13, 13. They're not terrible at all. How bizarre. Okay, um... Well... How is it we increase the quality of our troops outside of this? I mean, Cretan Man at Arms Regiment, isn't it, like, hyper expensive if you do it when you're over the limit? I don't remember. I don't remember how we increase our uh, our actual unit quality short of uh, kind of, like, martial focus and, and innovation and that type of thing. Shit, maybe we should just give it a go. One of the most anticipated events in the Jester's Festival is the setting off of the Illusion Dazzlers, alchemical wonders that explode exploding colors in the sky. Those same Dazzlers would amuse the common folks of Greenhill. Um... 15 gold. Oh, why waste my time in staming peasants? Well, we are ambitious, so I feel like we have to do it. If we do that, then we gain a shitload more prestige. You know what? Let's take it. 
Beautiful Illusion Dazzlers. Popular opinion plus 20. We've already got control over the popular opinion, but that's fine. My lord, the wine. We cracked open the next barrel. It has gone bad. It's all gone bad. The feast is raging, but without the drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. Our wine is corked. Um... The wine merchant is in town. Well, that's good. Or oh, we all have to pitch in. Come on, now we're getting 15 gold. No. You know what? We will spend another 50 gold. Just because we have the money, we shouldn't spend it like this. But you know what? Let's do it. Ooh. One plate of food is replaced by the next. My old arc Dathomalil goes on about theological treaties. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, please. Go on. He's plus 100 of us now. Amazing. Uh, why don't we talk more about you instead? You grow closer to forming a friendship with him. Now, somebody said in the comments last episode, this is really relevant, that becoming friends with your... Uh, so, so, friendship, I think they said, gives like a 1.5 times boost. Uh, don't take my word for it. 1.5 times boost to like their their working speed on the council. And then becoming their best friend is like double the speed or effectively something like that. Um, so, this could not only be super relevant because now our old arc endorses us, but it might actually make him work faster too. There we go. Oh, Igor, Igor Revola is really nice because that lets you count, if I remember correctly, lets you counter stress with um, with more feasts, right? More feasts in the future count for more stress reduction. Something like that. 150 prestige, Igor Revola, and each guest gains 20 opinion of us. So Igor Revola itself gives... Oh, I forgot to change the tooltip. You know what? We'll do it in a second before I forget again. Um, diplomacy plus two, intrigue plus one. Wow. I have my wife, Lucilia, to thank for its success. I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Now, before I forget, let's quickly sort this out before I go mad. Um, how is it? You go, you go game, and then you go uh, timer lock, and then we turn the delay down. Our oh, lock delay, that's it. Let's put that down to almost no time at all. There you go. That should fix it. Okay, I don't really know how we can begin, but to be fair, we now get Master Conjuration. So we could just summon a Daedric Army, and that would solve that problem, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's going to be a very, very expensive spell to cast, though, given it's Master um, Conjuration, right? Someone did just It's only 100, really? Oh, right, that's only because we're doing petty. So a Grand Army is 400 magic. We get 500 men, I presume non-reinforcing. Um, how much are we at? 106. We can bide our time. There's no reason to rush into this war. The claim is going to be there forever. And I can't imagine... It says she's only got... Oh, she's got 200 Bosma Stalkers. That explains it. Military strength is similar to ours. Oh, she's got allies. Ah, oh, but did you see that, though? My wife has another baby being formed. That's good. <laughs> it's a little old, bit of an old meme now. People are going to think I'm strange. Uh, we could go for it. I mean, honestly, if, we're, if, if she's relying entirely on her ally... 360 note. Where are you? Where are you located? All the bloody way down there. We could have this war done, I think, before they turn up. Is it a gamble? Yeah, probably, to be honest. But I think we could pull it off. How is it we set a, uh, a rally point? Rally point there. Uh, rally point there? Ah, oh, there we go. I yeah, see it's all coming back to me. Um, again, I think we can bide our time a little bit more. We don't have to dive into it right now. We can, we can hold off and just be a little more careful. I don't think we have to continue swaying our old arc, to be honest with you. I think that's pretty much done, right? Um, instead, it would be better to... Can we not befriend? Is there not a scheme to befriend? Hmm. Ah, oh, you know what? Maybe that's with a, uh, like, like a diplomacy tree perk or something like that. Don't really remember. Um, sure, let's have a hunt. Why not? We might as well keep the stress as low as possible whenever we can do it. Ooh. As the hunt goes on, you find yourself separated from your group and in part of the hunting grounds you've never seen before. Around you, the singing of the birds and various noises made by bigger beasts have grown quiet. And you can feel a higher presence overhead, seeing, overseeing this land. As you slowly press on, you find a small and secluded shrine dedicated to none other than Hercene, father of the hunt and prince of lycanthropy. Uh, it's also got a fancy spear. We can uh, gain 100 piety by smashing the shrine. Uh, we gain 15 stress because we're cynical, and that's obviously quite a religiously uh, motivated thing to do. The prince will be mildly displeased, and your hunting party might find itself without any prey to catch. We leave the shrine undisturbed. We issue a small prayer to her scene for the well-being of the hunt. Now, I don't know what they would think about uh, her scene specifically. No mention of it on the list, right? We just don't like Kinnereth and Lorcan, um, which is reasonable, I think. Take note of the shrine and come back to it later. We become a secret worshipper of her scene. Um... I think we just go for a small prayer. 
50 piety in exchange for potentially some something big. That could be nice. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horse and leap the hills behind us. The light fades from the sky. In spite of our difficulties along the way, the hunt went very well. Again, 150 prestige. Okay, maybe that was a, a result of that, or maybe it just counted some of our bad luck. You never know. There's always a chance we could have gotten something better too, I presume. Uh, Laruna. Ah, you've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little daughter. Hello. She is comely and intelligent. Lifespan four. Why did she get lifespan four? Interesting. She's just naturally longer lived than the rest of the family. Uh, she's born of the apprentice. That's good. Uh, life expectancy plus 400. Wow. Good God. That's nuts. Uh, 170 years of fertility. But her monthly lifestyle experience is significantly lower as a result of that. So a much longer game is to be played with uh, an elf. Uh, or a long-lived elf like that, right? Sure. We're going to immediately start educating her. Now, how is it? I, I can flip over education focus. There we go. That's completely on me for messing that up last time. Um, what do we do with you, tiny child? What do we do with you? Learning education? I feel like learning and magic are probably go hand in hand a little bit, don't they? And she has a lot of potential with that apprentice birth sign. Not to mention, of course, inherently in intelligent. Um, sure, you know what? I could go learning. Worst case scenario, we get a very, very good uh, court chaplain out of her. Given that we're playing a very, very, very minor religion, that could be quite good. Laruna. Um, give, me a, give me a good name. Let me see what I think here. Uh, Roma. Kufnada. Ves. Silsima. Ooh, that one's pretty good. Velsilsima. I like that one a lot. The harder to pronounce, the better. Um, Velsilsima Malsilsimal. Perfect. Grow strong and wise, my daughter. I've given her a very long name because it's a sign of uh, royalty and nobility, or at least it will be by the time we get around to cultural reforms. So, all oh, right, of course, I was forgot to uh, marry off. <laughs> He's so hideous. <laughs> Forgot to marry off Umaril. Oh, he's so scary looking. Um, okay, is there anybody who has... A uh, Baron 53, not a big deal for elves, of course. Um, oh, but of course, we're looking for someone who's meth melody. Um, it's very relevant. Man, are these the only targets? Oh my god. I guess Roma is the only reasonable one to go for. Lustful. Okay, she hasn't got anything inheritable, but they'll have more kids, so more rolls of the dice to get genius anyway, right? Um, I think we've got to go for it. She's Math Melody. This one is, oh, Imperial Cult. Ooh, never. That's vile. Maybe I could find someone to invite to court. I really don't remember the rules of, um, oh, there's an astrology tab. That's interesting. Or astronomy, I should say. Active Constellations to Tower. That's probably more relevant if you're playing a Khajiit, right? Um, our hook on Rinlayer will expire soon. What can I do with Rinlayer? Um, can I use this hook for something? Send me money? You used to be able to do that, right? Blackmail, I think, in the intrigue tree. Um, can I hire a court mage? Uh, we can. Umaril can be the court mage. Oh, he gets a cool hood. Yeah, that's good. Um, I, I guess it's uh, Arcana base then, right? I should have checked what the um, condition for hiring him was. Antiquarium could do with one of those. Well, eventually. Um, let me see if I can dig something up about marriage then. Let me see what I can find. Oh my god, the list is almost non-existent. Look at this. There's barely anyone here. What is uh, this one here? Alien Heritage. Basabic. Uh, Adric and Daedric Worspers clashed until the latter triumphed with the scourging of Wendelbeck. Okay. Um, so they are worshippers of... Of Daedra from Black Marsh, native to Middle Argonia. Whoa, the Padamaic Marshes. Wow. Um, are you interested in getting married? She's pretty. Albino, that's interesting. Okay. Um, there's also Princess Sasslata. I feel like she's probably a little bit highborn, but oh, she's also too far away from around with. Oh, God. Right, of course, Diplo range. Um, inside Diplo range. Oh, my God, there's one person. Ah. Well, there's one person who is, uh, I've set the religion to be Mladen and then culture to be alien heritage. That's it. There's, well, there's one person. Well, son, I found a wife for you. Uh, she's the only possible person. Inheritable traits are acute and genius. Like I said, she's lost full. So there's a chance, right, of getting some... Uh, uh, more chance of, of getting kids out of that. Sure, go on. It's not ideal. It's a bit of a prestige hit, but there you go. That's that. Fine. Problem solved. I mean, it was a problem that solved itself. Come there was one bloody solution. Okay. Um, 
Sure, my armies are terrible. I think maybe I do take the... Can, we can build more, right? But because we're over the limit, it costs a fortune. How much is it going to cost per month? Can we find that out? Uh, full maintenance, 0 0.24. Un unraised maintenance, 0 0.08. 0 0.24. We can afford it. Hmm. Oh, but we can't make them if we're at limit. Oh, I thought you could go over. Oh, weird. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, that's a problem then. That's it. That's like the extent of my bloody troops. In that case, maybe we could... Um, oh, she's a good troop. She's a good commander, though, eh? Maybe we take the gamble? I feel like you've got to do it, right? Military strength is similar to ours. Their troops are so much better. How much do you have personally, then? Like 308 and 9 knights. Oh, how much do we have personally? 601 and 6 knights. Ooh. I think I've got to go for it, given that her, her ally is all the bloody way down here. Let's just give it a go. I think we can wrap this war up before she even gets close. We could always cast some... Uh, we could cast some magic, maybe diminish her troops or something like that. This is a good way to learn. Let's turn the speed down. <laughs> I think that's a reasonable, reasonable thing to do this time. Okay, squad. Oh, I saw an update on Twitter as well from the uh, Elder King's team. They are introducing in... Ooh... Chances are even. Defending in jungle, higher quality. Better army command and more soldiers. Let's see if we can do some... If we put ourselves as the leader, we can then cast magic. You will lose decisively. Ooh. <laughs> that does me a frighten. Um, sure, I mean, give it a go, right? It's all in the dice roll now, huh? Wow, they do have very, very good troops. My God. Worst case scenario, we lose prestige. We pay us some gold. Let's see what happens. Oh, my hook on Rinlayer expired. Terrible. Can I do something before we... Can I, like, blast him with a spell? Can I do anything here before we continue on? Um, we can also summon a Daedric army. How much could I have summoned? Oh, man. I could have summoned, like, a hundred more troops. Oh, do you think it would have made a big difference? You're casting a spell on her. Oh, dispel, fortify walls. Can I do... Some sort of destruct. Oh, Ray is dead. Ooh, we could have, we could have summoned an army for very cheap. I imagine they would have been terrible, but they might have bolstered it just enough. It's surely there's got to be a destruction spell, like destroy wars again. Yeah, muscle lead army. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, we're already locked in, right? This already has movement lock. Yeah, okay, thought so. Uh, sure, give it a go then. Purely a gamble. It's in our favor so far. Oh, it is in a... Uh, no, no, no. That means it's in their favor. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. That was not worth it at all. Enemy joins war. Shocker. Let's get our troops back to here. They didn't have much uh, pursuit, apparently, because al almost our entire bloody army survived. Pull the army. Oh, I hate Shadow Retreat. Why would you bring it back for a second game, Paradox? Um, hello. Oh, peasants. Never. Serve your... You will serve me. Okay, right. Hold on. So now we'll just raise dead. <laughs> is this going to get me in trouble? This is like actually just casting necromancy. We can summon like 300 guys. I use the term guys very loosely. Oh, I summoned it on them. Uh, to be fair, though, we may just win that. Okay, well, let's see how this goes then. Oh, those are the fucking peasants. Ah! I hate them. Right, reinforce the, reinforce the undead. Oh, no. Um, well, there go all my... <laughs> well, there go all of the... Uh... All of the undead. Are they going to go meet their allies? We can bring this back. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a minor setback, okay? It's a minor setback. I've won better battles with worse odds, okay? Um, if we just siege down their capital while they're pissing around. Huh. Is that not going to be a 100% war score, though? They're coming back. I think a little bit too late, though, right? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yes. You see the power of Elrang, the foresight, the strategic planning, like Hannibal himself. Summon the undead armies at the peasants. Keep them distracted. Drive them away from our capital, sneak them from behind. You thought I didn't know what I was doing. I don't. But that was entirely my plan all along. Very big brain. Oh my god, we have a whole duchy. We have an entire duchy. My lord, faction created against... Uh, no, never. Um, how did they... Why did they rise? I thought we had total control. Is our control dropping that much? I suppose until we get actual cultural conversion here. It's not much of a surprise, is it? Um, yeah, keep managing the domain, actually. That's totally fine. Uh, right, so you... 
We're just going to have to keep bouncing our marshal between the places of lowest control. Oh, that's a good sign. That right there, you might think that's red for bad. That's red, the color of crimson. Deep, deep, valuable, precious dyes. Rubies because of wealth. It's not a bad thing. It's certainly not a bad thing. You've unlocked a new magical arts lifestyle. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> What can I get for this? We can... Oh, we already have Master Destruction, right? Uh, mass Paralysis. That moves down to Absorb Attribute. Mend Wound. I, I feel like uh, Restoration is probably one of the most useful. Lift Curse. Eventually Cure Disease. I mean... Ultimately, if we become a Master Restorationist and we always... Res restorationist? Restorationer? If we uh, have that maxed out and always some level of Magicka sitting around in our in our magical pool have like a minimum barrier then i think we can only ever die of old age right any diseases we get we cure it away if we get rabies that's not a problem and then once we're done with green hill actually is this a more valuable site than ours oh my god actually yeah it was a massive improvement eh look at that it's got more holding slots a lot more potential whoa um we can also build a oh because it's of course the dutch capital totally forgot them as a mechanic in ck3 really it would make more sense moving our capital over to here eventually so that we get all of the very fancy stuff tax offices might not hurt for a little while leisure palaces also might not hurt let's just keep it under lock and key let's keep this religious conversion going on over here then that will be done in no time second that's done we bounce over to grimwatch because senelana is a temple any peasant revolts from that are like Totally irrelevant. Completely, totally irrelevant. Can I increase the speed of... Um, uh, I think the cultural conversion is the big problem, right? Was it wh Which way around was it? They were less susceptible to cultural conversion because of the religion being wrong? Or was it vice versa? The cultural acceptance between Arenthi and Mathmeldi decreases by... Uh, 1.5%. The cultural acceptance between Arenthi and Mathmeldi decreases by... Decreases by negative 1.5%. So that means that the cultural acceptance increases. <laughs> what a bizarre way to phrase that. Understandable. Um, okay, sure. Now, again, I don't remember which way around it was. I imagine they play off of one another anyway, right? But the second that's converted, we'll move you over there. And I think this is, uh, this is a great success. What do we need to make the duchy title? Uh, Duchy of... Oh, we just need the money. Ooh, you don't say. Well, guess who can magic money up literally out of thin air? That's right. Orang's about to mint some MF NFTs. Let's go for... Greater? How much? How far off are we from Grand, then? 240. Oh, we'll wait. We'll, we'll just wait till Grand. Get the biggest return on our Magicka, right? If I'm spending all of that potentially life-saving Magicka, we might as well get the most money out of it. You're getting living healthy for five years. Because of our spouse's good stewardship. Oh, wow. Medium health boost. I, again, that, that people were quicker pointing out that that only counters the negatives. Unlike in CK2, where a lot of the time it just boosts up your bloody base health. Uh, we can have another feast. I honestly don't think we need a feast right now. I think I want to save up the money. And when we've paid off our duchy debts, then we can worry about that. Hello. Oh, grandchild. Samlada. Samlada elf boy. Lifespan of, uh, lifespan four again, so you're all the way up to the mid-300s. Acute magical attunement, born under the ritual. Um, sure. Name you after an ancestor. We could name you after your grandmother. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, let's go for that one. There you go. Something to remember that one of the, uh, effectively the founding member of our dynasty, right? I like that a lot. That's pretty good. And we've got another magical part. Wow, you are blasting up this magic tree. Holy crap. Uh, let's go for... Expert restoration. Should we finish every single one of these trees? There's got to be some sort of event we get for doing that, right? I wonder. I mean, I, I, I don't think there probably will be, but it would be interesting if they'd added some like little bonus for completing all the magic trees. That'd be good. Oh, hello. I'm who? To the lowest of the mail rank. I know that your Queen Mayvel's real killer. I did kill a lot of people, and she may have been one of them, yes. If you wish for my silence, you do as I say. Uh, he gains a weak hook on us. Um, however, he gains a critical mental break because he's trusting. <laughs> Fine. Um, he just gets a weak hook on us. What the hell is he going to do with that? He's like a fellow vassal in a realm. I don't know what he can do with that. It's not as if we're on the council, right? We're not on the council, right? Um, no, I don't believe we are because I think it normally says council or blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. 
Yeah, I'm not going to have you expose my murder secret. She already has a reason enough to imprison us. Uh, evidently, she's not doing it. I think she would have already. Um, yeah, I'll have you go into a mental breakdown, you fool. <laughs> Why would he do that? <laughs> Seems very silly for the AI. Uh, oh, okay. Well, to my vassal, I know that you're the real killer. Her gaining a hook on us is a very different kettle of fish. Someone must have un uh, revealed our secret almost. But I guess they've been... Um, I guess they've been... Well, why would I care? Okay, expose me. You've got reason to imprison me anyway, right? Isn't it like... This is a crime. She can execute us. So what's she going to do? She's going to expose the fact that we're a murderer. What would that do for us realistically? We gain... Obviously, in CK2, you get a, a murderer, a known murderer, which is like general opinion minus 50 or something ridiculous like that. Um, you know what? You can have a hook on us. I think mainly for the reason this will help me re-familiarize myself with what they can do to that extent. I know that if we get a, a hook on her, we can obviously adjust our contract and stuff like that. Not bad. How are we looking? 298. That'll do it. Thank you. Let's crack that spellbook open. And let's go ahead and transmute ourselves a little bit of cash. And by a little bit, I mean an obscene amount of cash. Boom. Leaves us 58 in the in the pocket. How much is the restoration? We can't see cure disease. Lift curse is 80. Mend wound is 60. Remedy illness is 40. Remedy illness, I presume, uh, will, will counteract the health negative from the illness without curing it. Remedy is a lesser illness. I see. You've answered my question. Um... Fair enough. No effects on greater maladies. So still got to watch out for rabies is what you're saying. We converted the religion. I didn't even bloody notice. There you go, Malada. That should, in theory, help with control, right? Has right hand serves the crown. What about you, then? Um, I wonder if control is just not affected by the... Uh, oh, maybe the popular opinion is? Malada is hostile. Oh, so it affects the popular opinion. Oh, well, that's good. Support for conversion plus 30. Oh, nice. Okay. Amazing. Um, well, let's get you then converting uh, the capital or what will soon be the new capital. Did that make? I wish I'd have measured it before and after. One disc exceptions, cultural identity. Culture is not native from development. Next time we convert culturally, I need to make sure and see if the religion does have an impact on that. Uh, our war has gone to war with the main. Oh, God. Okay, the leader of... Whoa, elsewhere is basically completely formed. So this is, um, this bit is Rimen, this area here that, that borders, uh, Breville and, wait, oh God, I've got to try and remember. This one is, uh, yeah, Breville, I was right. <laughs> I've completely forgotten all my Cyrodiil geography here. Yeah, the borders Brazil all the way down to kind of midway through County Lewin. Oh, this is Rimen. This one is Anaquina or however you say it. I think so, anyway. Um, so yeah, besides that one, elsewhere of like completely fully reformed. Maybe a dangerous neighbor. I can't help but notice they've also kind of swooped into Valenwood there as well. Could be a potential future problem for us. Uh, more peasants. Honestly, nah, you're fine. I think we could probably deal with a few peasants. Worst case scenario, just summon, <laughs> resurrect all the other peasants we killed earlier and have them deal with it. You're up against alien sorcerers. I think you probably, yeah. I don't think we have to worry about peasant revolts anymore. At one point, they were a little scary, but now... I think we're totally okay, aren't we? And that's got to be like, um... Does that affect the control if you crush a revolt? Obviously, it does in CK2, but... Uh, does it give us, like, a modifier? Living healthy, mana arms, negotiation. Oh, that's good. Fort Thirst, dedicated worker, studying inch text, flame attribute. Oh, I forgot we had that. Has a right hand. He's always had a right hand, but we've still got the bonus active for that one, which is nice. Oh! Lines about legacy. The latest work of my acquaintance, Tharja Baza, has become all the rage at court. This piece deals with memory and what we leave behind. Jabaz has publicly dedicated it to me. Oh. Wait. What do you mean he dedicated... Oh, he was the Queen's spymaster. This is the guy who had a hook on us. He must have found out for on her behalf. He, he was investigating us on her behalf. That found out we were a murderer. He knows, she knows, because he's a spymaster. But he pushed it on us and blackmailed us to get a hook. He had a mental breakdown. And then maybe he realized, oh, God, I'm a terrible person. What have I done? Now he's written a lovely story about us. <laughs> this man doesn't know what he's doing. You've lost your mind. You're even more clueless than I am, my friend. What man does not hope to rest when tired? In glorious memory with hearts desired. Tis rare enough for men to admit that given chance, they'd change quite a bit. Wow. 
<laughs> that really does bring a tear to your eye. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. The poem is lauded. 18... Oh, God. Okay, there is a sizable chance that the poem is mocked. Um, but even if the poem's mocked, we gain 75 prestige. I guess because someone wrote a poem about us, right? Um, Jabal's right, because this is truly heartfelt. We get an opinion of him. I don't care about him. This guy blackmailed me. Sod that. I think we would be cynical. I think we'd be suspicious and say, clearly this man's trying to achieve something by doing this. I don't know how I feel about it. The poem is mocked. Uh, we lost 20 opinion of him because we, we were humiliated over it, but we gained prestige because ultimately someone wrote a poem over us that became apparently quite famous. So that's quite nice. Wow. And now, uh, without further ado, before I forget again, let's go over to our duchy tab and let's go ahead and throw out the duchy of Senalana. Wow. Look at that. You are now a mighty Malarpen. M M Malarpen? I have no idea. That's fantastic. I'm super, super happy with that. Now, what, what mechanics do we unlock being a duke? Obviously, CK2. Again, I'm sorry to keep calling back to them, but I have 6,000 hours of CK2. Okay, I know that game inside out. I've got a, <laughs> I've got to draw a, a parallel here somewhere. In CK2, it does give you uh, a whole load of new attri uh, attritions, decisions, um, which it certainly seems like it may have. Consecrate and Strength of Bloodline. I don't know if that was there before. Wasn't paying much attention to it because obviously it's not relevant for a long time. Um, we can also consecrate a holy site in a capital. When it shares our heritage, and when it has a temple holding, and when we are a devoted servant, we can find a place of worship. Or what does that do, exactly? A new special building slot will be established, allowing construction of holy buildings as dictated by your Pantheon doctrine. Uh, we get a special building slot for a grand cathedral, or whatever the alien equivalent is. That's nice. Um, everything else, though, seems more or less the same. We can host a feast called a hunt. I think we'll forget about the feast, but we will have a hunt. You always end up breaking more or less even from that. Oh, God. As the full moon shined. Oh, I know where this is going. Shine through the hills. Me and my group got lost while chasing a small group of hearts. I heard a low growl and suddenly I was alone with the thing. Its eyes were almost human, but in other aspects it was a heart. I remember the bedtime stories I was told as a boy. Where regular people turned into monsters when one of the moons was full. The thing paced around me slowly, getting a good look at me while sniffing. I had to act quickly. Come on, you monster. 58% chance we defeat the weir heart. 41% chance it defeats us, of which there is a 28% chance after that we die and then gain roaming beasts. If we're wounded, we can use restoration to heal it. Um, wow, that's cool. There are a load of different weir beasts in uh, Elder Scrolls. I think it was in Daggerfall you could play as a, as a weir boar, like a big weir pig. There was weir bears as well. Um, the chance of us dying is actually very slim. Like very, very, very slim. It's like a 12% chance. We'll be fine. <laughs> we will be fine. Oh, we slew it. Master Sorcerer Elrang. Stop. Um, compares. No, no, no little, little horrible elk man can compare to him. The hunt draws to an end. We mount our horse and leave the hills behind as the servants prepare the heart. And other game for the journey back, we became a novice hunter too. Very cool. I've held my share of hunts and people around me have start, starting to take notice. Word is spread of my activities. Another 150 prestige. Wow. We're getting up there. We're finally making a name for ourselves, and I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, people have gained conversion further. Ooh. People are already good to serve the new religion in any way they can. Levy size plus 25%. Very happy with that. Wow. So royal cure we unlock when we're a king or an emperor. That's something I genuinely know nothing about. All this stuff is coming back to me over time, right? But royal court is something I had very, very little experience with. And I imagine it's changed massively since the, the beta for it that I was a part of years ago now. Was that like, not no, last November, but the November before, I think? It's a very, very long time ago. Whoa. I think... Oh, and our spells became a bloody... Did you see that? She became an architect. Holy crap. Everything's coming up hell right now. This is great. We've got a whole duchy. We've got a duchy title. We're converting over cultures, religions. We became a, a, a hunter, a feaster. We've got grandchildren and a, a pretty good daughter too. I think Curious is always very nice. This is great. I, I think things are going fine. Let me know if I'm, I'm making any major mistakes. Maybe I should have stayed out of count for a little longer. Maybe I shouldn't expand out much more than this or something like that, even if there's an obvious way to go because of County control. I don't know. There's a lot of things that I've got to, got to get the balance right in my mind before we plow on, but I'm happy with this. Thank you for joining me. I think big things were done today. Not to mention now, we when we've got like total county and cultural control, cultural and religious control, and obviously 100% regular control, we'll start altering a load of money, destroying the local economy by debasing the mints nonstop, and we'll, we can build this place up to be, you know, like a real tall play, and then... Try and take over from the inside, right? 
classic CK uh, Crusader Kings tactics. Looking forward to it.